Throughout this video, we have mentioned the word co-functions. Co-functions would be like sine and cosine, tangent, and we have cotangent, secant and cosecant. If we have a right triangle, then that means that one of my angles is 90 degrees. Within any triangle, the sum of all of the angles must be 180 degrees. So what does that tell us about the sum of the angles A and B? Well, A and B have to sum up to be 90 degrees. Now something special happens when we are talking about the trig function values of angles within the same right triangle. So I have A and B. So let's look at the sine of A using just the definitions of the sides in terms of A and B. So if I'm looking at the sine of A, let's see you start here from this perspective, that would be opposite, so that would be A, divided by the hypotenuse, which would be C. Cosine of angle A would be the adjacent side, which would be B, divided by the hypotenuse, which would be C. Now if I have exactly the same right triangle, but I'm working from the perspective of the angle B, and I want to find the sine of that, well, since we're working within the same right triangle, we notice that we're using the same sides, the same lengths the same of the same sides. So across from angle B is side B, divided by the hypotenuse, and then cosine of B would be the adjacent side, that would be A, divided by the hypotenuse, which is C. So when I'm working with angles in the same right triangle that add up to be 90 degrees, their co-function values will be exactly the same. So sine of angle A will be equal to cosine of angle B, and vice versa cosine of angle A will be equal to the sine of angle B. So we want to develop what we call the co-function identities. When are co-functions equal to each other? Well, we can say that sine A is equal to, and let's rewrite this little equation. We have A plus B equals 90 degrees. Let's solve for B. So we know that sine of A is equal to cosine of B, but let's rewrite B in a little different way. Let's subtract A from, sorry, A from both sides. That gives us that B is equivalent to 90 degrees minus A. This is what we would call a co-function identity. And all this says is that if the two angles inside of our co-functions add up to be 90 degrees, then those co-functions will have exactly the same value. So here are all of our co-function identities. So for any acute angle A, cofunction values of complementary angles are equal. Remember that complementary angles means these are two angles that add up together to give 90 degrees. That was our complementary angles. So cofunction values of complementary angles are equal. Sine of angle A will be equal to the cofunction value, so equal to cosine of 90 minus A, and so on. So let's write each function in terms of its co-function. So let's see how we would work with these and how we would use them. Sine of 90 degrees, what would that be equal to in terms of its co-function? Well, its co-function would be cosine, and we need these uh, angle values to add up to be 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 9 degrees would be 81 degrees. So sine of 90 degrees would be equal to cosine of 81 degrees. So 
cofunction values of complementary angles will be equal. Cotangent of 76 degrees will be equal to tangent of what angle? So we need complementary angles, so let's say 90 degrees, take away 76, that would be 14 degrees. So tangent of 14 degrees would have exactly the same value as cotangent of 76 degrees. Okay, lastly we have cosecant of 60 degrees. In terms of its cofunction, what would that be equal to? So cosecant is cofunctions with secant and we need uh, complementary angles. So 90 degrees take away 60, we end up with 30 degrees. So cosecant of 60 degrees is equal to the same value of secant of 30 degrees. So cofunction values of complementary angles, angles that add up to be 90 degrees, those cofunction values will be exactly the same.